there, my name is Anna and I'm your host for Tasty Thursdays. It's the first week of December and Chef Doris and I are going to play in the kitchen today. And I will be gathering some fresh herbs from the greenhouse to take over. It's always a pleasure to spend time with Chef Doris. She always has some great tips for you in the kitchen when it comes to cooking. Come on, let's go. I'm here with the amazing Chef Doris. It's always a pleasure hanging out with you. What are we making today? Today we're making winter leek and potato soup. We've got some potatoes, we've got some apple, carrots, leeks, mm, mm, mm. Yeah. garlic. Garlic in there, yeah, oh, and dinner. cut them all about the same so they're all going to cook, you know, to the same time, so. Um, this garlic here. That is. That's a Spanish garlic. There you go, and this is a Canadian one, so they can't talk to each other. <laughs> But you just do it like this, and then you just... <laughs> Whoa! They clear your nose for sure, <laughs> and your sinuses, and I only had a little bit. Don't now, I also put always a little bit of apple in it, just for the sweetness. Gives it a little bit of a different uh, flavor profile. Because if you put the garlic and the onions Together to saute the garlic goes brown, and you don't want that. I use avocado oil, it's up to you, whatever oil you want to use. About a two tablespoon. Swirl this around, wait till it, <coughs> till it heats up a little bit. Okay, now we're putting the onions in. We saute them for about three minutes. And the garlic in at the same time. Now we saute them for a bit. Sweet potatoes and, and regular potatoes. Add yeah, and this one. And we. And so what I usually do for a little bit, I just put this on. So it steams a little bit too, and, and the top gets uh, some some heat too, so it gets uh, softer. And now I can, we can put some water in it. Now I always do cold water. Mm -hmm. Now I also will put in a bay leaf. Bay leaf. You always count how many bay leaves you're putting in because that's exactly what you want to take out afterwards. And I also Oh, it's a lime and a leaf. Yep. And they can soften up. So we're going to put in one. And they're going to put in the second one. And then we see. Once you get to this point, you, you start tasting. And you start checking that everything is cooking nicely. The taste, if you need a bit more seasoning, because that way it goes into your veggies if you put the seasoning in now better than later, right? Let me all good. Okay. I think we probably simmered another eight to ten minutes. And then do another check. And now we're putting the apples in it. Looking good, looking good. Wow. Mm -hmm. So we got our six leaves that we put in, we got them out, okay? Take some of the uh, vegetables out because we want a chunky soup. I'm going to turn this off and now we're going to make a mess of the kitchen of Anna and of me. Put this back in. So we and as you can see now we have a little bit of some chunks in there too. And now it's the time again where we have to try a touch of pepper and a touch of salt. Salt brings out the flavor. Oregano, thyme, rosemary, or this sage. At the end you could just put a little bit of oil into your frying pan Yes. and uh, just put them in and make them crisp and then take them out and then you can put them on top of your soup as decoration. Mm -hmm. This is good. Mm. 
I just got an apple, that was nice. Thank you. You're welcome. My pleasure. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> to our next uh, adventure. Adventure, yeah. <laughs> Filming does not take in the smells. We need to come up with something that, that would be possible. Right?